Christmas to everyone. Let me do just the, just do the audio here, so it's not gonna be too loud for you guys. So we are back today, the 25th of December. Christmas Day stream. Um, today we are trying to 
run for another title in the Romanian First League. Um, we just started the championship playoff. I played a few games uh, like really late last night. We have an unbelievable run in the Conference League. I will show you more details. Um, we played against Basel guys, uh, both legs. Last night I was impatient and I did it. I played and we beat Basel. We qualified further in the Conference League. Uh, unbelievable. I still, um, I still don't believe what just happened. <laughs> But I will show you the results and I will show you uh, also <clears throat> uh, the games that we played uh, last night. Let's, uh, let's dig in. So as you can see, David Zalazar is um, our best player of the club even though <laughs> he's not a starter he's not starting for me yet because uh, his uh, position is not uh, yet uh, natural let's see here yeah it's accomplished but uh, he needs uh, he needs few more few more months probably to to get it on natural Let's go to the schedule. So, after the game um, against Pogon Shechen yesterday, uh, we played again um, in the Liga 1 and we tied at uh, CFR 1 1. And then um, in the Conference League, guys, we just destroyed at home Basel in a historic game. Uh, I think it's our best uh, performance in this save by far uh, against a top competitor, a team from uh, from a tough league in Switzerland. Uh, really, really proud of um, of what we achieved there, and I have to show you. I really have to show you the the goals. Let me see here. Top, top uh, performance by the players. And uh, I only chose uh, in that game uh, players that actually train perfect. So we see here um, they scored first. But uh, we managed to uh, we managed to fight back, and uh, in a 12th minute of the game, Manta tied the game at one. Very close to the end of the first half, Molnar with a cross with a pass there to to Manta. Manta in the box get fouled, but Molnar crosses uh, from a deflection to Kovac and two one. Uh, at the break for uh, for us and then in the second half the 60th minute they uh, they equalize Duda gets uh, unexpected chance there and uh, escapes one-on-one -on -one with the goalie and then in the 72nd 73rd minute actually Kovac uh, cuts inside passes in the middle to McGregor and McGregor with a powerful shot from uh, from the penalty box scores the third goal 3-2 and then in the 82nd minute Rafik Guitan with a solo run on the right side passes in the end to Kovac and Kovac would a tap in 4-2 unbelievable scenes at Petro Bardi and in the 92nd minute Marin with a crazy free kick um, closes the, the game uh, historic win like I said uh, unbelievable uh, unbelievable uh, game and uh, of course, um, in the returning leg, uh, we tied 2-2. It was a it was a difficult game, but we managed we managed in the end to uh, um, 
to get away with uh, with a draw and uh, qualify to the next round to the quarterfinals of the Conference League. We have here Molnar passing on the left side to Manta. Manta is pushing and then gets uh, past that defender and uh, curves it in the right top corner. Beautiful, beautiful goal in the 19th minute. And then in the 26th minute, um, Basel comes back. A beautiful through pass here and Fink uh, scores an easy goal. Uh, Ternovanu couldn't do anything. And then in a 45th minute, um, right before halftime, we are uh, scoring a screamer, Baltario just blasts that ball into the net unbelievable goal from so far away and then Milar in the 64th minute thrones and passing to Fink and Fink again finishes it and it's 2-2 um, game over and um, we can proudly say that uh, we deserve this uh, this um, this draw and the qualifying into the next round um, i don't know what's gonna happen i really didn't plan this i honestly didn't plan this but uh, we're gonna give it our best even in the quarterfinals we don't know who we're gonna play against but um we are deep now deep into the uh, the second part of the season we are reaching um we're in march right now third uh, third march almost we're gonna play against uh 16 march actually <laughs> and i'm sorry uh, we're gonna play uh, in one day. We're gonna play CFR, um, CFR Cluj away. Uh, we started the championship playoff. We beat 3-1 Faru Constanza at home. Beautiful performance again by by the players. And uh, right now we are sitting comfortably on the first place with one point ahead of Universitat Craiova, who lost at home um, against CFR 3-2. Um, so it's a tight race, as you can see. We are first 33 points, and then uh, Universitatea Craiova on the second place with 31 points. CFR Cluj on the third place um, with 30 points, and then uh, FCSB on the fourth with 29, Rapid on the fifth with 24, and uh, same points for Faru Constanza, who uh, sit on the sixth place, the last uh, spot um, in the championship uh, playoff. Let's uh, check the relegation playoff a little bit. <clears throat> As you can see here, the rest of the teams are fighting uh, to survive or for the uh, Europa playoff spot. Uh, because the first uh, place here in the relegation group will play with the last place from uh, the championship uh, playoff. They will fight for a spot uh, in Europe for the next uh, season. This is the rule in the Superliga in Romania and... Um, uh, I think uh, <clears throat> they um, they made this uh, rule just to give uh, another reason uh, to these teams to fight for for uh, uh, for survival or for uh, you know going into Europe, being in the um, in the relegation playoff. So I guess um, everybody has something to play for in the end of this season. A beautiful, uh, be beautiful end of the season. And uh, one thing that I noticed, one thing that I noticed um, is um, that if I play the only the players in the first eleven, if I line up only the players that trained great in the um, in the previous week, um, I have zero chance, almost zero chance of losing the game. Like we won, I did the same thing, and we won against. Um, against Basel 5-2 and let me show you actually what I'm talking about against um, yeah so against uh, Basel uh, the lineup was uh, Madalin Kozma, Zalazar uh, who else uh, actually this is not the lineup I'm gonna have to check right here so yeah we played uh, only the players who trained perfect that uh, that week. So we played with Nedelku starting um, with Kozma. We played with Molnar instead of uh, Zalazar. Um, so this is what I'm talking about. If you do that, if you line up only your best players, or not the best players, just the, be the players that uh, are in the best form and uh, with the best tra training rating, um, 
you will just uh, have insane results. Of course, if the tactics are okay and um, the morale of the team overall is, uh, is good. Right now, we uh, are sitting comfortably on the first place, like I said, and um, we, are hoping, we are hoping to win uh, against CFR right now. It's a tough, tough uh, test, but if we do win, uh, then we are pretty much... Um, I don't know, I'm pretty much going to seal the deal for the title, even though it's still very early. But if we win away at CFR Cluj, it's a, it's a, it's a strong, strong sign that um, nobody can, uh, can beat us anymore. This is what I think right now. After how many uh, games? So after the CFR tie 1-1 away, we had just great results and especially this game against Faro Constanza it was it was such a good such a good uh, performance so yeah let's move forward enough uh, enough uh, talk enough uh, wasting our time let's see here we're gonna send back on Cesco we don't need him anymore uh, we thought we're gonna so uh, we're gonna sell Dobre yesterday so <clears throat> we didn't and again uh, guys um, hap uh, nah. Merry Christmas Happy Holidays um, I hope everybody has a good day or had a good day depending on where you are in the world my time here is 8.44 In the morning, we're gonna probably stream for a few hours, two to three hours. Um, I'm uh, I'm gonna do some stuff later on uh, with the family. So yeah, like around three hours, it, it should be fine. Three hours stream. I hope the music is not too loud in the background. Okay, so after the CFR game, we are going to have a break of 14 days for the national... Um, Teams uh, for the national teams games, probably the qualifiers um, 27. So, that for the World Cup qualifiers, I think. Yeah, or no, the World Cup was in 2026. So, for the Euros or Copa America in the uh, South American continent. So, this is uh, the schedule for this uh, for this week. Um, we are going to play at CFR, Faro will host FCSB and Universitatea Craiova will play against Rapid. Um, it is a very, very um, tough championship uh, playoff. We need, uh, we need to keep up the good form. But... Um, as far as uh, as I can see, nothing can stop us if we are going to keep playing the way we did against uh, Farul and Kindia, and especially against Basel in the Conference League. Hopefully, we are going to uh, get <clears throat> a lucky draw again in the in the Conference League, and we will move forward for the uh, semi-final. That will be insane, guys. Fingers crossed. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, um, we'll have again. Uh, perfect, uh, perfect performance. Uh, like the game with Basel at home when we destroyed them five-two. Almost game time. I have to check. Uh, I have to check again the uh, the training ratings. So Christian Baltario ten, like he trained perfect. That perfect. You can't get higher than ten, and we have to we have to praise. Each one of them, and we have to play the best team possible 
so we can get the maximum out of uh, our next uh, next game. We are happy uh, that yesterday we managed to sign um, our uh, striker from South Africa. It was a it was a hard hard um, deal to to make. I thought at some point that we're not gonna be able to to pull it off, but um, we sold um, our central defender Sibile. We sold him to Universidad de Creova. We released uh, some money in our wages department and um, this guy Mamila Sikumbuzo Mamila managed to um, to sign with us he is an outstanding striker and uh, based on uh, the assistant coach report he will become a world class uh, striker so he is the first big signing of the save we paid 600,000 for him 18 years old and um, the only downside like I said the only downside of the deal is that he has a release clause of uh, I believe uh, 36 no 300 3 million six hundred thousand or something like that for the four for the foreign teams okay so 725 like I said that that's the limit I'm not gonna praise anybody lower than uh, 725 and yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, we signed for free. I signed for free last night when I was playing on my own time. I signed Kurjan for free. Uh, he was released by Las Palmas from what I have seen there. He played for them in La Liga. Uh, 11, ga 11 games and one goal. Not so good, but it's La Liga. So we need a player with this experience. He can also play, um, if we want him, he can also play inverted winger on the left or a box-to-box -box, uh, midfielder here whenever um, whenever we have injuries or we really we really need him um, to play that position but I think we will play him uh, for now we will play him um, in the in next season because we can register him right now we sign him after the, the transfer window um, closed the winter transfer window so uh, we will be able to register him in June until then he will train with us he will be a part of the team he will travel probably uh, for the games but he will not uh, be able to play so for the next season we are planning to give him a lot of you know, a lot of games a lot of playing time he i think he can still improve let me see the report here cool could improve significantly so he is a player that will improve in the future depending if you give him playing time so we will do that we will do that and we're happy that we signed for free another player that we can sell in the future his price range right now is between 1.2 million and 3.3 so imagine imagine um, how much money we can get because uh, I'm planning in the future if he's gonna develop planning to ask for more than 3.3 million so we don't have any um, clauses in his contract that uh, is gonna make us lose money on the deal so it's a perfect perfect uh, move that we did that's why you have to monitor the market every single week uh, go to the scouting department go to your reports uh, try to see who is available even for free it doesn't matter like those are the best actually because those are the deals that um, make you the most money in the long run uh, if you have some room available for the wages uh, sign sign these players even uh, the, if there are backups um, after six months or after a whole season you can sell them and uh, make some money for your upcoming season so this is why we signed Kurjan. And in real life, a lot of teams are doing this. Okay, let's uh, double check right now. Who can we put on additional training? Ball control. Uh, okay, ball control right here. Uh, Sorin Manta, strength. Dorel Molnar, improved ball control also. Vicente Buesuigen, nope. 
nedelku no Duma, Turnovanu, Raulion, Fekete, Endurance. Kovac, Strength, Yunus Marino, Tursha, Ball Control, Rafi Gitan, Mamila, Dunka, Nguni, Valencia, Goran Zivkovic, Gabriel Dulka, Eduard Maxim. Nope. Dobre. Madolin Kozma. So we're good. If the music is too loud, guys, um, if it's if it's really loud, because I can't tell while I'm streaming, I lowered it um, as much as I could. So I barely can hear it here, but if you hear it like it's really loud, just let me know and I will try to uh, decrease the volume. I know it's uh, it's annoying to have uh, a loud music in the background. You can't hear what I'm saying. So... Gonna uh, line up the team for the game against CFR. Let's check the training rating. So Mamila 840. Manta 990. This guy is gonna start. Gitan 840. Besugen 980. He's gonna start. McGregor 875, Dulka 745, he might not start. Marin 870, Zivkovic 790, 10, Boltario, he will start definitely. 980 for Molnar, he will start. And Turnovano definitely start. So now let's see Zalazar 725, Molnar trained way better so he will get uh, the starting Dunka 835 Gitan 840 so Dunka and Gitan pretty much the same level so Gitan will will start let's see Nadelko 935 so I guess Nadelko will start Nadelko Nadelko uh, trained really well and he is an explosive uh, winger you have to recognize his uh, his talent. So 880 for Fekete and Dulka 745. So for me, this is the rule. If you train well, you start. So uh, they both train well, but Dulka is uh, 745 and this guy is 880. Let's see McGregor 875. Uh, yep, he will start. Raul Leon. 890 Manta is 990 Mamila 840 but Mamila is an advanced forward and Raul Leon is a, a pressing forward so the Dunka also pressing forward let's see Mandla Duma 925 Besugen 980 so yeah uh, Jose Valencia let's see Valencia 825 he trained well Eduard Maxim 740, Madeline Cosma 705, not so well. Okay, so I guess this is how we are going to line up um, for the game against CFR. We have very good uh, backups also. Let's see, Petr Kovac 875, uh, Dunka 835. Okay, so Kovac will replace Dunka, I guess. Yep, Dunka 835, he will not make the team for this game. M Nguni 830, he is an advanced forward, so Raul Leon 
890. But um, Peter Ko Peter Kovac can play advance forward too, so I guess um, this is it. This is the team that uh, will start. Uh, we have to start Mamila because of his attributes. He's an outstanding player, way better than everyone else up front there. Um, and he has the brightest future in the team. He's in a good form right now. So we are ready, guys. We are ready to start uh, the game against uh, Cefere Cluj. Uh, away championship playoff in Romania, the Romanian First League. We are going for the second game in the championship playoff. We have uh, nine games left, including this one, to win another title, the second title in our history. Uh, if you carry less performance to this match, we'll do well. Okay. Everybody's motivated. We play with more freedom away. And we're about to start. I hope um, the graphics are better than, uh, than yesterday. I um, moved it to medium. Yesterday we played it on high and now I moved it to medium. Hopefully it's a little smoother. We have uh, a corner in a 15th, 15th minute of the game. First half, Besuijan with the corner. Defend the defenders, the CFR defenders uh, managed to uh, deflect the ball. Marin passing to Zivkovic, Zivkovic moves it to Baltariu. Uh, nice short passes there to control the, uh, the possession. Baltariu pushes uh, forward and a pass, good pass to Mamila, Mamila! First uh, dangerous chance that we had. Mamila should have scored there. He has uh, 17 on finishing. Petrila. Marginian. Petrila again. Petrila. But McGregor is uh, at the right spot. Oh, and we're breaking away. Besuijen. Besuijen is going to probably pass for Manta. Manta. And a weak shot. Ben Saeed. Uh, like a, it was an easy, easy save for him. Now Petrila, one minute later, free kick from over 30 meters. Zivkovic trying to defend that. Not a, that wasn't a penalty. I know they're complaining, but it wasn't a penalty. It's dangerous to do this kind of tackles around the around the, the penalty box or inside, but that was not a penalty. I've seen games where when the referee calls it but this is uh it was really close to him so so mamila now on the left wing is trying to create a chance and it loses the ball we have uh tired players already i don't like uh i don't like what i'm seeing it's uh it's the first half and they're really tired cfr is trying to He's trying to cross that ball. Yeboah on the right, on the right um, wing. He's having trouble with Mo Molnar there. Yeboah again, cutting inside for the left foot and uh, scores. We are down one nothing in the 24th minute at CFR. He cut inside, really nice there. Beautiful goal by uh, by Yeboah. Strong player. Mania with a through pass and. A beautiful left uh, left foot uh, shot there. I have to um, make a move here, demand more. We are getting dominated right now by CFR. I put, I line up the best uh, the best team possible, so we should uh, get a positive result here. I'm confident we're not gonna lose this. Don't make a penalty.
Oh my god, seriously. 2 nothing for CFR. 31st minute. We have to start attacking right now. The, the thing that we don't like, I don't like to um, to do this kind of things, to switch tactics, but I have to. Molnar is having a bad, bad game. Besuijen. Free kick. To Zivkovic, who uh, headers it uh, on <clears throat> on top of the uh, of the goal there outside out of out of bounds uh, Moloka Marginian we are getting seriously dominated here struggling to uh, to to keep the ball Besuijen now good pass to Mamila but he's not uh, he's not gonna get it Yeboah again Yeboah cuts inside and another not a great shot but Turnovano this time saves it I don't know what's gonna happen uh, after the halftime but uh, if they score one more it's clearly over I didn't think uh, we're gonna struggle I thought we're gonna have an easy game Honestly, Nadelku to Manta, he's not gonna get it. Petrila and uh, another header from Yebla. Yebla is uh, probably the best player of the game so far. We are still first, but uh, we are uh, waiting for Krajova to see uh, uh, if they're gonna win their game. Mania now, Mania. Uh, still is passing to Yeboah, Yeboah, not a crazy shot and we are not able to handle this guy. Yeboah is destroying us on the right wing there uh, because of Molnar. So we have to put uh, Zalazar in. Yeah. Jeez. Mamila again losing the ball like we cannot hold the, onto that ball. Come on, just score one before the halftime just to have have some uh, some hope. Ben Said passing to Yuri Matias. Manta passing to Mamila and uh, he misses it. The only good chance that we had, um, and he's uh, six point three already. We have to sub him. Well, I try to uh, to play the best, uh, the best players, the best uh, uh, the best lineup that I think would have uh, win this game based on the training rating. Baltario, Fekete, long pass to Mamila, and. Uh, they get the ball again. Ben Said. They're building up from the back. Yuri Matias moves it to the left to Onia. Long pass again, and uh, we're uh, we're not able to uh, we're not able to handle Petrila. Also, Petrila cuts inside. Dangerous, dangerous chance. We don't deserve anything from this game so far. Honestly, uh, we have to. Really, S uh, slam the team pretty much to get a reaction. This is unacceptable from everyone, and Zalazar will come out. Baltario 6 4. Oh, God. Mamila will have to uh, come out. Who else is struggling? Nadelko is not doing anything, and we're gonna play Gritan. Um, Roddy McGregor disappointing, also. Yonuts Marin disappointing, but we have to somehow keep some some uh, some subs. Gabriel Dulka, you know what? Uh, McGregor playing okay. 650 is not okay. 
Kaduka, Kaduka, Kaduka. Can he play box to box? Uh, I guess we're gonna find out. But uh, let's leave. Uh, let's uh, leave him a little bit longer on the field and see. Okay. If they're gonna get a reaction. Fekete Zivkovic. Usually the first uh, highlight, it's nothing after after the uh, the halftime um, break. Now we're gonna get a real response. McGregor still 6.5. Come on, fake it. We need okay. Just don't lose. Maybe a tie. Let's not uh, give them the ball again in the middle of the of the field. That's so dangerous when you lose it there. Okay, so. Besuijan on the left wing, passes to Manta, and Manta, one, one goal already, please don't be offside, that's all I'm asking, 2-1, okay, good reaction, so we got one back, we need, uh, we need one more, just to, uh, just to be safe for at least one point, okay, Yeboah again on the, on the right wing, Hopefully Salazar will handle him better. But McGregor, there's Salazar with a good, uh, with a good um, reaction there. Okay, uh, Gitan on the right wing is gonna try to cross or pass. He passed it back to Marin. We're holding the ball right now and we're creating. We're trying at least to create. CFR is uh, desperate to get rid of the ball. This is what I wanted. I wanted a. Uh, Quick response from the players. Now we are the one putting pressure on CFR. Hopefully um, McGregor doesn't have to be subbed. Marin. Marin, don't lose it. Uh, Kovac. Kovac will pass it to Gitan and... <laughs> Manta is on fire, guys. Manta is on fire. 2-2. In just a few minutes, we managed to tie the game. What a response from the players. I told them that I'm embarrassed because we are losing against our uh, we are losing against our rival and uh, we managed to tie the game. We came back guys. Still Baltario is having a bad day 6.4. Nasango, don't don't follow him. Good. Ternogano. Yeah, so we have we have to, to monitor the um, tiredness of the players right now. They're on red, most of them. Jeez. So many blocked shots uh, by CFR. They're trying desperately to... to... Uh, to stay alive, but... Um, we came back in just few few minutes. Two goals by Manta, who is ridiculous this uh, these days. Um, he scored at least uh, at least 16 or 17 goals this season, just in in Superliga. I need to see here uh, who has to come out. So Marin 6.5, Baltario 6.4. Who we have on the bench that can help us? So we have Cosma, 6.4, Baltario, seems motivated, okay, and Marin, Jose Valencia. All right, let's, let's, let's uh, try to hold these subs for at least 10 more minutes. Besuijan is really tired. 64th minute. Zalazar on the left. Strong player. Very, very good player. Passing to Manta again. Manta in the penalty box. 
Passing to McGregor, losing the ball there. And now CFR. Ooh! They lost the ball and Marine took a crazy shot. Okay, the only player who are who is having a bad game is Baltario. 73rd minute. We have to make some subs. We really need to make some subs because of tiredness right now. Uh, Madeline Cosma will take place. Uh, Baltarius plays and then Valencia will replace the uh, tired and uh, yellow carded Marin. Uh, yeah, I guess this is it. We can't do any more changes. We have to survive right now because I don't know how Cosma will replace Baltario. Baltario is a key player and also Valencia replaced Marin. Marin is a key player. Hopefully we can still survive the storm and uh, manage to get a point here in Cluj. Zalazar passing to Cosma, Cosma to McGregor, tired, tired McGregor. Zalazar again, Besuijen passing to Zalazar, Zalazar long pass to Manta, but uh, Ben Saeed is there and probably it's going to be their chance. Zivkovic, long pass again, but uh, Gitan is tired, can't run anymore probably. Zivkovic again, Fekete, Fekete passing to McGregor, McGregor to Kovac. Kovac is trying to look for a true pass and finds it to Manta, Manta, and it's an offside. I think it's an offside, yep, it's an offside. Beautiful, beautiful goal, but this is an offside. Exactly. <sighs> it's fair though. They dominated the first half. They really dominated us. Manta is scoring. Every single time when he's uh, uh, having a chance, he's scoring. We are controlling the game so far, but I know that CFR is going to try to push in the uh, last minutes of the game Valencia Fekete passing back to Zivkovic it was a very good game by both teams entertaining games here entertaining game here at uh, Cluj Arena Dr. Konstantin Radulescu that's the official name of the stadium Chobano long pass there to Zalazar Zalazar to McGregor McGregor to Fekete Fekete back to McGregor we are trying to build here. Manta passing to Kovac. Kovac one on one with the goalie. This, this, this could have won it for us, but Kovac um, didn't manage to score there. It's not his day. Rafi Guitan with a corner. Manta, our hero today or this season come on guys hold hold the lines five more minutes five more minutes to to get a point here and continue the fight and Kovac now Kovac on the left Kovac on the left cuts inside and post after a deflected shot CFR is dodging all the bullets possible. Right now, I can't say anymore that we don't deserve to win because we had way too many ch dangerous chances. We get oh, we get away with a point or they get away with a point. But uh, yeah, this is a good result. We didn't lose here. In the end, we, um, we scored the two goals. But yeah, we are... Uh, actually, I think we just... We lost two points here. Based on what happened, we lost two points. 12 12 on shots on target 6 5 223 the xg and the uh, possession of the ball was uh 50 50 i think um we had uh, we had the edge here we we uh we just couldn't couldn't uh score the third goal so if we look at the numbers we should have won despite the result trust the process i guess this is the best uh the best uh, pep talk that I can I can give them 
yes, this guy was was very good today. Magnificent player. And in real life, he's a very good player. So now, if Craiova wins um, their game against Rapid, I think, um, then uh, then they will be first, I think. And we'll, uh, we'll be tied on points with them, but they, uh, they will be first. So, fingers crossed, they will lose. And um, we will uh, keep being first in the league. Manta again with two goals, unbelievable players. This guy, although the stats are not great yet, he's 19 still. Um, 17 goals, seven assists, six player of the match performance, 753 average rating. Man, yeah. So before I do the the press conference, let me see here. The music is. Uh, I have to choose another mix here. All right, let's move forward. Shadow Miling, thank you for following. Thank you very much. And uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. How is your day? Well, are you, um, have you ever played a game or, or not? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a little complicated. If you're new to this game, it's gonna take you a while to to get used to everything. I've been playing this game since 2007, so yeah. And I just uh, decided to stream recently. This is actually I don't know my seventh stream ever. So yeah, it's complicated, but if you buy it, you know, in in the long run, you're gonna. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, thanks. But like I said, in the long run, you will uh, you will enjoy it if you if you start playing it regularly. You will you will enjoy it. We have a two week break right now, 14 days to rest. You don't have to read, uh, read too much. Just think of this game as uh, really <clears throat> managing a club, like from, from improving the facilities, the stadium, the team, you're in charge with pretty much everything. You don't have to read guides or anything you just um you know you have to look at the attributes of players um you have to set your budgets like you know depend of depending on what team you're gonna pick you know it's not that hard honestly you just have to like take it you know slow uh one thing at a time 
um, you have scouting department, exactly like in real life, like a like a football club. What happens in the life of a football club, it will happen in this game. So you you are in charge of everything. You're the manager, not just a coach. You know, you have to bring your own staff with you. So I think if you like this kind of games, like managing games, this is the perfect game for you. Like it. It's worldwide, like uh, one of the best managing games, sports managing games. Okay, very close to the Conference League draw. Yeah, definitely. Like, I used to play. Um, when I had, uh, when I didn't have a job like a few years ago, I used to play like 10 hours per day. Trust me, I would finish one season in just two days. So yeah, check it out and trust me, in the long run you will like it. And probably you will like it uh, really quick when you start playing. But it's gonna, it's gonna be a little confusing first few days. Again, thank you for following. And by the way, how did you find my channel? I'm 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 curious. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. And uh, one more thing. Is the music too loud in the background? Because, uh, like I said, I'm a beginner. And I need to figure it out. I, you know, I hate when, I, when the music is too loud and you can't hear what I'm saying. So, how, um, how is it for you? Okay, perfect. Thank you, man. Yeah, I think you should you should buy the game and just uh, play. Uh, you should get a a big club from um, from the start. Like, just get a big club. You have a little money, so it's easier in the beginning. And after you get experience, just uh, you know, start to build a club from nothing. This is what I'm trying to do here with my. This is my home city club. So when we started, we didn't have any money, uh, any players, nothing. <laughs> so, yeah. And we started from the second league in Romania. Um, which is your cl which one is your club? Oh okay. I like I, I like Norway. I'm planning to to visit Norway in the future. Uh, but yeah, Brann. Uh, are they playing in the first league in Norway or second league? I think it's first league, right? Brann Bergen. We're still first here in the league, which is good. So I guess Craiova didn't win their game. Let me see. Yep, they lost. Craiova lost. They lost at home. 
Duganzic scored for Rapid in the 17th minute. So we're still safe after the tie against CFR. Linda Nocazo, 19 year old attacking midfielder. We don't play this position, but he's a good player. Damn, Jan Krejcik. Oh, wow. So, are they first right now in the Norwegian League? In the first Norwegian League? Wow. Damn, only one game. Wow. But good for you, man. I'm happy for you. So, yeah, you can definitely pick Brun and manage your uh, your home uh, home team club or home city club, sorry. So, yeah, um, it's going to be difficult if you don't have experience in this game. If you pick Brun, you need... Uh, do you know uh, a lot of players from Norway? Like, are you familiar with all the players in uh, in Norway? Definitely Arsenal. Yeah, if you if you like Arsenal, start with Arsenal first get a feel of the game and then after you win everything with arsenal it's gonna take you a few a few years in the game like you know in real life probably a few months after that just go for brun man yeah definitely this is what i did when i started the game i um when i started the game i think my very first save was uh barcelona so there you go Yeah, you can um, you can get the game from Steam. I I think it's forty forty dollars, something like that, or fifty dollars in euros. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what's the the price in euros, but yeah, around that. Good. So yeah, you can definitely. Play the game in your off days, yes. You will enjoy it. If you are a football fan, like I am, you will enjoy it. I'm addicted to this game. This is sad, because like this is what I do in my uh, free time. Yeah, you're right. It's true. 
some people some some of my friends are telling me that I'm wasting my time but yeah you're right you know they're probably wasting their time with their own hobbies or whatever so yeah So yeah, this is uh, this is I, I just started the channel uh, one week ago, and I'm really I really don't know anything about streaming. I just like watch a few videos and I started streaming. So sorry for the quality, man. Like it's a poor quality, but I'm trying to improve every day. Okay, they're upset about this guy. Okay. We're moving forward here. Uh, nine days and uh, nine days left until our game at Rapid Bucharest. I'm gonna play them uh, in the in the league, and then we have oh, so we are gonna play Ceseca Sofia in the Conference League. That is a very good draw for us. I think we can. <laughs> We can go to the semi-finals, guys, because Ceseca Sofia is not is like way way worse team than than Basel. Yeah, you're right, man. You're right. Yep, some people love to drink. I like to drink too, but it's not like, you know, once in a while. I don't like that feeling when you get drunk next day. It's just like, I all the time after I get drunk, I get depressed next day. It's just huge depression. I don't know, this is the effect of alcohol on me. So yeah, it's, I do it once in a while, you know. But yeah, and I'm happy the stream, the stream is... Uh, the stream is good. <laughs> yeah, you bet, yep. You know the feeling, right? <laughs> I used to go out a lot when I was a little younger. Yeah, so I used to drink with my buddies every weekend. And then next day, horrible, horrible depression. And just like, I couldn't get out of the bed. Dehydrated. God. And I used to, I used to really hate it. Like, that's why I stopped. Like, because, okay, you have fun, but next day you suffer. Oh, my God. And pretty much you're, you're wasting the whole day in bed and just, you know, having huge headaches and... But, yeah. Yep, exactly. <clears throat> yeah, so again, thanks for, for, for following. And I will be streaming um, every, every day. So today, m uh, tomorrow and Tuesday, I will stream three days in a row. And then I'll take two days off. And then another three days straight. I'm I'm streaming based on my wife's schedule. When she's home, I can't stream, man. <laughs> she hates me playing this game. So 
Yeah, me too. Exactly like you. I'm just drinking whenever uh, there's an event or a dinner with my wife or friends. Yeah, like we don't have alcohol here in the house. <laughs> yep, she hates it. She hates. She hates the. Uh, you know, she hates seeing me on the computer first of all, and then she hates this game so much. <laughs> It's like a competition between this game and her. Well, I, I told her that, you know, this is how you start. You know, you just stream and then people are going to follow you and all that. And uh, she she said, like, oh, it's a waste of time. And But to me, I don't do this for any financial gain. It's just, like, for fun, you know. Like, I feel like if I just play on my own and I'm not recording, then I'm, I just, um, I don't have that uh, footage like in the future, I want to go back and watch it and see see the save that I played, you know. And that's why I do it. And also, in the same time, people can, can chat with you and all that, so. All right. So we have some youth intake player. Of course, poor intake again. Our youth system is really bad. This is the best region player that we we uh, we got. <laughs> yeah, I honestly I don't even know how to monetize my channel. I don't even know how to uh, to get paid on Twitch. I didn't you know put any account uh, bank account you know set up with this uh, twitch channel nothing he just i just started streaming so but yeah it's a it's a very good side job for really good streamers like they i know like for example zealand who is the best uh, streamer for football manager he makes from what he said he uh, he makes over four thousand dollars per month so yeah Okay, affiliated. Okay, <laughs> yeah. They see like I don't even know what's that. Like what? What? How you get affiliated? Okay, average of three viewers and fifty followers. Then you can apply to get. Okay, thanks for letting me know. I didn't know this. So yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, my full-time job um, is uh, sports betting. Actually, soccer betting. This is what I do for a living. So, streaming would be uh, nice to have like a side income. That would be nice. Okay. Taking out my donation link. Okay. Yeah, there's uh, also a bunch of videos that will help me in the future if I want to, you know, make any money on Twitch. I can get the instructions from them. But for now, yeah, I'm just trying to just build up the channel. It's going to take a while. And especially if you stream uh, this kind of game and this kind of save, uh, like a no-name team, people are not that eager to follow you. They like to see, especially the the Premier League clubs in England, they, they like to watch uh, those kind of saves. Simolina, Bjorn Bay. A lot of wonder kids here, but they're from great clubs, so we can't afford any of them. 
Okay, this guy. This guy is from Norway. Wonder Kid from Norway. Oh, you made a couple of hundred dollars. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's nice. So what, what kind of game you were streaming? We have to scout this guy. It looks really good. 17 years old. 185. Striker. This might be our next Holland. Bjorn Bay. He is a... Uh, he is in the list of the best 50 Wonder Kids in football right now in my save. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. It's just like I need to improve a little bit my English too, because sometimes when I don't pay attention and just like I get into my game into my save like I just you know I don't think what I say I still think in my language in Romanian so when I explain yeah sometimes it doesn't make sense you know <laughs> leagues of legends and real royale okay nice the only game that I play is football manager I tried with my friends a few years ago to play um, watchmen on Xbox but yeah and I played a little bit of um, GTA. But yeah, like, I never had a passion for any other games than just Football Manager. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, you should get into this game. If you, like I said, if you if you love football, buy the game. And who knows? Maybe you're gonna stream it too. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm I'm gonna get into that later on today. Yeah, and thanks for uh, for the info. Yeah. This is how um, the streamers are getting paid, right? With the donation links. And I just won the head coach of the month. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Some people are nice and just appreciate uh, what you do. It's true. Yeah, I'm going to definitely look into that later on. After I uh, finish streaming, I will... Uh, try to to learn how to do it. Oh wow! See, I I didn't know this these things. I thought you just stream, and then I had no idea. I thought you have to have some kind of like you have to buy some kind of software to install it and get paid or like I didn't know it's it's that easy. Because to me. When I see professional streamers, like, it, it seems so complicated, like, they're really good, they have all those um, things on their welcoming screen, like, the, the, the layers, like, the, oh my god, it's just, I don't know how to do the graphics, too, it's just so complicated for me, <laughs> even this was complicated, the setup of my stream right now, and this is really easy.
is yeah you're right you're right but yeah thanks for for the tips man yeah it just it takes just one person to help you out and then you're gonna pretty much learn uh everything Yeah, if I stream like three days a week, uh, that, that should be enough, I guess. Based on my wife's schedule, of course. <laughs> but what if I make a lot of money and then she's gonna start to like push me to stream, you know? <laughs> Just kidding. Raiova lost again against Fece Sebe. So if we win our game right now, we will be uh, four points clear on the first place. Oh, you can also uh, post a schedule on your channel. Nice. I need to, to learn that too. Okay. I know that when I go live, they get a notification if they follow. Nice. All right. I will write this down after I finish the stream. All, all your information, I will write it down. Mm -hmm. If it changes week to week, yeah. I know Zealand, the streamer that I told you, he has a schedule. I, I've seen it. I went on his page and he has a YouTube channel also. And all the streams are going on his YouTube. Probably should I should do that too. <laughs> Yes, I agree. Important to have it. Yeah, well, I will start doing that uh, probably after I have like, a, I don't know, five, six followers. Right now I have three, fo three followers and one, uh, one spam uh, follower, which I blocked. So... <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, it's 5 p.m. then. Right, right. So I couldn't uh, uh, I couldn't get the name on the channel FM Lion. I had to write it I FM Lion I because that was the only one available. But yeah, it's FM Lion. Football Manager <laughs> stands for FM or FM stands for Football Manager. It's a stupid name, I know. <laughs> I don't care. I just wanted to um, to pick something, you know, cool. Yeah, FM FM Lion. But I've there were already like few few FM Lions there, so I had to um, just do I FM Lion I like you know just to be able to to create the channel. All right, we are ready. Game day, big game at Rapid. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. It doesn't sound right, I know, but 
honestly, these things, little things, doesn't matter to me. It just if um, if you are having fun and if you like the channel, that's all it that matters, you know. Because um, I used to play the game. I used to play uh, Football Manager, and in the background, I would have a streamer playing the same game, and um, it's fun this way. You have something in the background. Sometimes you learn a few new things because I'm not an expert in this game, you know. Like, for example, I don't know too much about tactics. So, the tactics are really important in this game. Every day, I mean every day, every year when I buy the game, I struggle setting up a good tactic. I have to struggle for a few weeks until one works. <laughs> so, yeah. We have three important games in a matter of a week. Three games in one week. You will struggle, definitely, but don't give up. Uh, you will see the light at the end of the tunnel at some point. You just have to, to make sure you keep the morale of your players high all the time. That's the important stuff. The locker room, man. As a coach, you have to, you have to um, keep the locker room happy, the players happy. You have to think like a like a manager, like a coach. This guy, James Garner, really good, but he's not interested. Wow. <sighs> How can we sign this player? Damn. This is exactly the player I need as a box to box midfielder James Gardner used to play for Manchester United and then Everton bought him for 12.75 million and now he just signed with Greuterfurt in the second division in Germany if we knew He is a very good player, especially for, sorry, especially for our uh, level. This guy is insane. All right, man. Thank you for following again. Merry Christmas to you and your family, and enjoy Football Manager. Okay. Go big with uh, with the Gunners. Almost game time. We have to go into the um, individual training right now. Yes, definitely. I want to. I want to know uh, if you are gonna do a better job than Arteta. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Talk to you soon. All right. 
we're praising everyone who trained well. They need to stay happy. Merry Christmas, thanks. Sorin Nadelku, praise. Roddy McGregor, Ilya Dunka, I need to, to make sure there are not tired players when we are gonna face uh, Jessica Sofia in uh, the Conference League game. See, everybody's reacting well. If you go lower than 720 on the tra uh, training rating, uh, they will start reacting weird. You should do this every week. See, 720. There you go. <coughs> You should do this every week or every other week. So they uh, monitor this all the time, make them happy. Like in real life, when you don't have a relationship with your players, they think that you are ignoring them. And um, there are a lot of players who are um, always craving attention from their coaches. Like they need that uh, confidence. Uh, given by the coach <clears throat> There are some players who don't care <clears throat> But yeah uh, Hopefully We can line up a team right now that uh, will be able to win the game in the league and then um, We can line up some uh, Some players for the Cesica Sofia game Let me see here And win that game also so we have uh, It's the quarterfinal. Okay, so if we if we win this um, this tie against Ceseca Sofia, then we are gonna go for the semifinal, guys. So Ceseca Sofia is not uh, a team that has the same level like Basel did. We uh, we won easily again 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 against Basel, and right now if we go to the semifinals, probably we're gonna have to face either Aston Villa or Twente from uh, from Holland from the Netherlands. So yeah, and uh, last night when I was playing on my own, uh, I asked. I uh, had an option to ask the, the chairman for more money and he did uh, give uh, gave me 1.3 million which uh, part of it like 300,000 I added to the to the wage um, bankroll and I kept 963 for transfers so I'm gonna this this way uh, we signed um, this way we signed Katalin Kurjan for free. We didn't have enough money for wages, but after we asked the the, um, the chairman, he made some room uh, in our wages. So we signed for free Katalin Kurjan, a very good prospect for the future, 24 years old, uh, who will be able to sell in the future for good money. But we're going to keep this 963 for the summer transfer window. And uh, for sure, uh, we're, we're going to look for the same type of players like free agents or loans, cheap loans. But we are looking, always looking for quality, not quantity or always quality. All right. So now we have to make sure we are going to line up the best team possible. 940 Mamila, 975 Manta, Besui Jin. 9.30, Nedelku, 8.90. Okay, let's see Gitan. Gitan, 8.25. <laughs> we will play Nedelku again. 
and then Gitan will play in the Conference League game. Okay, Fekete is not improving. Dulka 790. Fekete 720. And let's see Tursha. Tursha 830. So Tursha will play Fekete out of the team. And I will play um Dulka in the com conference league. I don't I can't I can't play him in the conference league. He's not registered. So Tursha will be on the bench then and will play in the conference league. McGregor 890. Molnar 910. Again, he is training really well. David Salazar 680. Hmm. What happened to you, man? He is decreasing a little bit. Yeah, let's give him let's give him some playing time. Davi Zalazar and Molnar will play in the Conference League. Yeah, I'm taking a chance here because Molnar is doing really good right now. Baltario 9.55, damn. 7.20, all right. Uh, no, no, we're gonna keep Baltario in. We need to win. Uh, we need to win this game. Okay, Zivkovic is doing good. 805. And Marin. 920. Yep, this is the lineup here. Let's see Kovac 840. And Raul Ion 865. Yeah. Edward Luca, Krijan, Ilya Dunka, 885. This guy has to play. So how about we are going to take Gitan out and uh, rest him for the Conference League game and then play Dunka this game. Nedelko, 890, 885. Yeah, let's play Dunka for this game. All right, he can also play as a winger, so we are ready for the rapid game. Very important game. If we win this one, we will go four points clear um, in our hunt for winning the second title in our history in the Romanian First League. conference uh, questions here all right hopefully we're gonna have a better start than uh, the game against uh, Chefere Cluj the stadium is packed Rapid uh, is a very very famous team in Romania one of the top three uh, clubs in the first division of all time in 2006 in real life they reached the quarterfinals of the UEFA Cup the current Europa League okay uh, they have the first chance here Dumiter Duganzic to Sefer Sefer is gonna try to shoot and Turnovano with a save Corner kick now for us, Besujen. Duganzic defending that cross. McGregor gets very close to the penalty box. Baltario. Dulka. Besujen and deflected shot in the corner. We're putting the pressure, which is good. McGregor with the shot. That was nice. That was really nice. Oh, another another dangerous chance from a corner. Their goalie saved it. 
corner again. And Zivkovic, uh, our tall central defender, headers it over the top. C CFR is um, one point behind us right now. They, um, they won their game. And we also... Salazar with a yellow card and 6.5 rating. Oh, man. He's the best player in our team and he is not he is not happy. Something is going wrong with him. He's not delivering. Uh. McGregor to Baltario. McGregor passing to Mamila there. What a funny name, Mamila. Besujan 6.5 Zalazar 6.5 Need to monitor this Zalazar is in a danger to get a red card here If he gets another yellow Besujan cuts inside Passing in the box there for Dunka Who is uh, kicking it too uh, It was a soft, soft shot though Zalazar, Mamila Bad shot there from far away. 6-5 for Manila too. But at least we are dominating. That's uh, that's the good thing. Okay, so at the halftime right now we have to talk to the players. I'm pleased with the number of shots. Or keep going, we can win this. No, I'm pleased. I need the morale, man. The morale, I need the players to be happy. So we need to take out Zalazar. Oh, he's 660 right now. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna keep uh, playing him for a while, for at least 10 more minutes. Corner kick for us again. We should score anytime soon. McGregor, one of the best players this season for us. Baltario with a post and it's a goal offside. Offside. Hmm. We almost uh, had one goal advantage here, but Baltario with a good, good, yes, definitely offside, no question, no doubt about it. And we will, we will make our first change, actually two changes, because Zalazar has a yellow card, we cannot risk it, and then uh, we can put um, Peter Kovac replacing Mamila. And Raul Leon will replace Manta, who carried us this season. We have we can't be upset. He, you know, he just had one bad game. Uh, Ilya Dunka is struggling, so we're gonna put Nadelku in. So yeah, uh, we did four changes. Changes we will leave one in a pocket. Hopefully we can score one goal. Peto is stealing that one in the middle. Dangerous uh, chance for Rapid. Kostake on the left wing. Please do not score. And whew, Zivkovic blocking that. But it's still going. Sefer. Chobanu. Kite with a long pass there. And uh, Baltario safe uh, pass to the goalie Ternovano. Molnar passing, trying to pass to Kovac but uh, he, he can't get hold onto the ball 
Rapid is putting pressure. Chobanu, one on one with the goalie, and uh, almost, almost one nothing for Rapid. Rapid is starting to be dangerous. It's uh, the fight is getting heated right now. They're trying to push for the win. Kostake on the left. Passing to Peto. Peto to Kostake. Kostake is going to cut inside. And bad shot. We are lucky. I need to demand more from the players. Gitsa. Another pass, long pass there for Kostake, but Marin uh, gets uh, first to the ball. Now we have the possession. Long pass again, and we're losing the possession again. I don't like these long balls um, straight to, to the strikers. We need to build from the back. This is not what I want from the team. Losing the possession again. Kostake on the left. Cuts inside again. He takes a shot, but our defenders are blocking it. We are struggling. We are struggling. We need to win this game. We have to attack. I need to start attacking here. We need the win. CFR is right there. One point behind us. 6-5, Yon. This is really tight right now. 80th minute. Come on. Block it. Sefer cuts on his left foot and deflected in the corner uh, actually is Duganzic is offside so 83rd minute we have a chance here we have to make one more change right after this highlight Besuijen cuts inside Besuijen gets uh, loses the ball and uh, Marin uh, cho chose to take a shot from far away we need to make a change Raul Yon is struggling, 650, and uh, who else can we put in? Okay, Besuijen, yeah, Mandla Duma will, will come in and replace him. Dulka, yellow card, yep, we are gonna tie at Rapid. Unconvincing, unconvincing. Hopefully this is nothing. Oroyan with a corner late in the extra time. Late in the extra time. Oof. And game over. 0-0 zero, zero tie at Rapid. Disappointing, um, disappointing result. The performance wasn't bad because we kind of dominated the whole game and the possession of the ball was 64 compared to their possession, six, uh, 36. And we had some good performances by Trnovanu, Marin, Zivkovic, Baltariu, Gabriel Duca, and McGregor, all of them over seven rating, but we didn't, uh, we didn't score any goal. Hmm. Sympathize, whatever. We're still first, but the, the uh, The league standings are looking really, really um, close right now. The, the, the run is really close, what I'm trying to say here. As you can see, we have only one point ahead of uh, CFR. Fechesebe came third not right now, two points behind us. Basically, four teams... <clears throat> Four teams are, are uh, fighting for the title this uh, this season. It's going to be interesting with uh, seven games left. Now uh, we move our focus um, to the Conference League. We we need a win in Bulgaria. We're going to play uh, in Sofia. The first uh, the first game of the of this tie. So Roberto De Zerbi, the coach of Torino in 2027, in our manager, will uh, try to sign Besuijen. Okay. Uh, I'll listen. I'll listen. 
because uh, we need money so if he's gonna come up with a good offer we will sell uh, we we signed Besujin for free um, he uh, played for Aberdeen uh, last club was Aberdeen in Scotland first league in Scotland and he played for us 27 games three goals 10 assists two player uh, two men of the match uh, performances with uh, 7.14 average rating our starting inverter winger on the left uh, he is an important player who is training really well as you can see here 930 training rating and he's happy we have no reason to sell him just if we get a very like a stupid offer because his contract details are um, like this um, if we sell him we need to like it's 50% sell on fee percentage he's gonna get half of of that amount of money that we're gonna sell him for so we need to be careful here um, we need to ask for a lot and I don't think Torino will will pay us more than two three million so I don't think it's worth it to to just get 1.5 or 1 million for him we can we can uh, we can keep him for another year all right Manta showing pleasing progress uh, yes he does he is starting to improve and this was an insane season for Manta overall he scored 25 goals for the club in 34 competitive matches in the league 17 in 27 games with seven assists and six player of the match performance I think he will be the player of the season in Superliga if he keeps it this way he is wanted by Zulte Wargem and Sandhausen we just got him from uh, Politecnica Timisoara in the second division of Romania for seven hundred fifty thousand um, dollars. We um, we paid for him two hundred fifty right when we got him, and then uh, with clauses, this can go to two point three million if he's gonna make the national team uh, fifty caps or no twenty caps for the national team, and then. Um, uh, also 50 games for our club so so far he played in 34 games so he has another another 16 games and then we have to pay another clause in his contract we have the money right now we're not complaining we have eight over 8 million in our bank and uh, at the end of the season, we're gonna get. I think we're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna get a, uh, at least one more million uh, from the TV rights of the Conference League. So, hopefully, by the end of the year, we'll have 10 million in our uh, bank, and our chairman will um, will give us uh, more money for transfers. Razvan Petre is our chairman. He bought the club for our club legend Damian Militaru, who decided to step down. And uh, currently, Razvan Petra is uh, in charge of Jiul Petroshan. Uh, um, he is not a good chairman. Uh, this is uh, based on my attempts. Of getting money for transfers every time he's turning it turning me down um, the only time that said yes was last night when I was playing uh, in my own time uh, he um, he gave me 1.3 million for transfers so this is the only time when he he was uh, good to us <laughs> As you can see, we have over 8 million, almost 8.5. We are good. We are good for uh, this kind of level, like Romanian uh, Roma Romanian league. Uh, usually, Romanian clubs don't have too much money. 
So we have two wanted players already. We have to think about uh, selling in the summer and improving on those positions if we decide to sell. And Guitan also he's wanted by Hapoe, Bersheva, Maccabi, Tel Aviv and Granada. This guy is really good. 27 years old though. We have to decide if, uh, if we sell because if we sell... Um, the only player that can uh, can play on that position is Manta, who can play as a winger. Everybody else is loaned, so they're gonna go back to their teams in the summer. We will see. We will decide in the transfer window in June. Just one second, guys. I need to send a message. Continue here. one day away and uh, we are playing the conference league quarterfinal historic run in Europe this season because of this conference league um, we might lose the the title because the players are so so tired it's gonna be really tough to manage uh, their uh, tiredness uh, just one second. hey x dip x x d skip sorry man <laughs> actually uh, it's daytime here it's uh, 10 in the morning, Chicago area in the United States. My Christmas is going well. I'm playing football manager. <laughs> My wife is at work, so... Thanks for following, man. Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> For 27 p.m. No worries, man. Yep. Yeah. Enjoy uh, enjoy Christmas with your family.
I mean, uh, thank you for following again. Sorry, guys, I had to send a message and check some uh, some things. But yeah, we're ready. Nice, not county. So you are struggling in your first season in League Two, right? Fifteenth uh, out of how many teams in the league? I think it's twenty-four or twenty-two. Okay, yeah, uh, I support, um, well, I'm managing right now Gilles Petrosian, that's uh, my home city club, so I support them, but they're a small team, in real life they play in the second, oh, the third league in Romania, but uh, yeah, uh, the big clubs, I'm, you know, I like Messi, so Barcelona and Argentina, um, I don't like Paris Saint-Germain, I think... Uh, I think they're like um, a club with uh, a lot of money, but I don't. They don't have. They don't have what it takes to win big, big trophies. So um, Barcelona is my is the team that I support, and Liverpool. Yeah, Liverpool is an awesome team. Also, I love. I like uh, Jurgen Klopp and um, um, Salah. So yeah, Liverpool is a team that I like too. Yeah, and it's the same thing with City too, honestly. Like, why do you think they struggled for so many years to win a trophy? I mean, they win the Premier League, but in Europe, they didn't win anything. So this kind of teams that you, they just get a lot of money from, you know, like you said, the oil money, they, they're going to struggle for a long time until they win something big. And even if they win it, I don't think it's earned. You know, they didn't work for it. This is my feeling, you know. They get around of financial fair play every season. Jeez. Okay, we are ready to play uh, Ceseca Sofia in Bulgaria. It's going to be a very, very uh, interesting game. We need to see who we're going to start. Okay, Mamila is not registered, so Kovac and Manta. Molnar. Tursha. Gitan. Fekete. Jean can play. David Zalazar. Well, uh, I hope you can survive relegation. I think I don't think you will relegate. Uh, with Notts County this season and I hope you're going to promote into the League 1 uh, next season and uh, I hope you have money in your bank because you need to, to make some moves in the summer <laughs> Marin Valencia Roddy McGregor, play Gitan for this game. 
Hurley McGregor is. Yep, Hurley McGregor is tired. But we'll have to. He will have to play. Baltario is tired too. He will have to play also. They all need a rest. That's good. Not bad, 1.2 million for this season. Yeah. Future signings. Yeah. Yeah, you need to upgrade every season in, in order to, to be able to, to promote every season. You need to, to improve the quality. Yeah, that's a fun save, actually. It's a... That's a huge challenge to, to bring them to Premier League. That's nice. Fekete. Well, we'll play Tursha and Fekete. We're gonna risk and we're gonna give some rest to McGregor who who played almost every single game this season. He's like Messi for Argentina and the World Cup. He played every single minute. So McGregor will be on the bench for this game. We're ready to start. Conference League quarterfinal, guys. First game at uh, CSK Sofia. Hopefully we can get a positive result. Okay, so somebody. Oh yeah, we have to. Un un uh, we have to remove. Uh, the unregistered player from the from the bench we have 12 subs available in the conference league mm. it's important not to lose in uh, in this first first game and come back home with some sort of advantage or equal chance to qualify. That's impressive, yeah, that is nice, 97 points. So it was a uh, it was a tight tight run for the first place. Mm -hmm. And an epic trophy final, nice. I'm happy you enjoy your save. And good luck to you. Hopefully you're gonna get to the Premier League uh, soon. <laughs> it's gonna be hard, but yeah, it's fun. Like getting a club from. From Vanarama, that's impressive. I can't go like um, I can't go lower than than uh, than championship. I'm not so experienced, so it's for me like it's gonna be a struggle. I I have experience with this game, but like uh, I really need to to have a good knowledge of English players and especially with um, with the work permits. That's yeah, it's really hard. Thank you, man. We're hoping here. It's uh, it's a crazy run that we we have this season in the Conference League. We didn't expect to even make, um, uh, you know, to make the knockout rounds, and here we are right now fighting for the semi-final to 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 reach the semi-final. We are a small small team from Romania, from a small city in Romania. A lot of coal mines in my city there um, it's the miners club that's the, the the nickname and we're trying to become the Juventus of Romania because we have the same color same type of jerseys so yeah second minute into the game and uh, the Bulgarian team is dominating yeah work permits suck that's why I avoid saves in England right now I used to like them but when um, 
when they got the work permits on uh, into the game like yeah it started to I started losing um, interest you know but Manta on the left hopefully we can create something passing to Gitan Gitan with a good shot but not strong enough Balfon thank you for following man or Balfon <laughs> I don't know how to call it but thank you Merry Christmas to you Zivkovic Zivkovic but another blocked shot thank you man we're hoping to win here or at least a tie and come back home with a chance blocked shot Besui Jen Manta and almost almost one nothing man somebody got injured of course of course yes Merry Christmas to everyone and thank you guys for joining the stream joining my channel but we have to make a decision here and the only player actually we can put Dunka who has a, a good potential and good good attributes for this role but yeah Guitan one of our key players got injured and I hope it's not gonna be a long-term injury and uh, the Bulgarians are starting to attack also Pack Stadium here in Sofia No, it's the Bulgarian, the Bulgarian team. De Neuer. We're winning the possession. 17 minutes in. Our backup, Valencia. The Peruvian uh, right back. Passing to Turnovano. Zivkovic has a yellow card, we have to pay attention to him. Chris Ramos. And Tursha there, winning the possession. Pay attention, and one nothing. Of course, you lose the ball in, in the middle of the field, very close to the box. And we get punished for this mistake. Tursha, who... I was hoping, I was hoping that it's gonna bring quality there. Made a huge, huge mistake. Unlucky, yep, I agree. Skip, I agree. Oh man. I have to demand more from the team. Yeah, it's the quarterfinal. Skip, it's the quarterfinal. It's the the most important game of the club so far. Like since we started this save, we never reached this far in Europe. Man. And Tursha is actually having seven rating and he messed up there. So I'm gonna start, I don't know, should I start attacking or no? I'll just wait until the second half. Well, it's not my fault, but... Um, I think uh, I have a little bit of fault, because um, I should have just um, kept McGregor, start McGregor, and um, playing Tursha on a position that he's not really familiar with with although he's uh, he's playing well seven rating so corner kick yeah what a save 
Ve su Jen. Jeez. Forty minutes. Still, we're in it. Like, if we score one goal, it would be enough to have hopes for the for the second leg in Petrosani. We're moving the ball on the right side now. Kovac looking for a cross. Passes in the box there, but the Bulgarian team is managing to get the ball back. And now on the left wing, in the box, dangerous chance. And Turnovanu save hands there. Come on. 6.5 Besujan, he will be subbed. Zivkovic, man, we have uh, some players who are struggling again. I want a much better display second half. And Kovac will come off. Raul Yon will take his place. Besuijen and Duma also will get in. And that's it. Zivkovic yellow card. Huh. I need Marin in too. And we will start attacking soon. I want to see the reaction, like the first highlight after this one, to to have a better idea of um, my players. Um, attitude and morale for the second half and then I will decide uh, if I go attack or not but again the Bulgarian team is having the ball right now we're winning it Molnar Dunka cuts inside passes to Manta and we're losing the possession again yeah we have to start attacking Boltario oh my god with a giveaway And 2 nothing. Moreno. Yeah, we will. We will start attacking. Okay. Let's not lose hope. Yeah, it was going really well, Skip. It was going really well. But, you know, it's expected when you reach this kind of stage. Uh, it's hard. Manta! Manta! And goal! 2-1, Duma! Duma puts one in and we're back. Hoping, hoping for, for another goal maybe. And maybe uh, go home with a tie. But, man, we are lucky too here. Look at this. Good pass by Yon. Manta should have scored from this one, but gets blocked. And then Duma with the rebound. Nice. Yep, 2-1. I, uh, I will try to upgrade for sure. Um, we're, we're aiming to win the league and go for Champions League. This season, of course, we, we tried for the Champions League, but it was so hard. Like, we got smashed. And uh, we just managed to qualify for the Conference League. But uh, 53rd minute now, Yon with a shot. Good shot, though. Good shot. Zivkovic will come off soon. Yellow card and 6.5. Uh, Madeline Kozma. And who else? Okay, so everybody up front are um, are doing good 7.5 Manta 7 um, Yon Romanian Juventus <laughs> yeah 
that's uh, that's our nickname, Skip. Oh, okay. We have some players really tired, man. Like so many, so many games in a short period of time. Even 2-1, it's not a bad result. But we have to win uh, at home by two goals. But now it's an interesting chance. Ion on the right side, but loses the ball. Gets tackled there, hopefully. We can still put pressure. Oh, and Ramos. Ramos on the left wing. Marin. Marin is uh, there to save the day. Dunka. Come on, Dunka. Fight. Beruato to Ramos. Ramos is going to try to cross. Oh, my God. I, I, I thought it was a penalty or something. <laughs> Guys, if somehow um, the OBS is going to crash, because it happens to me, I'm a beginner in streaming, please uh, um, stay live because I will come back immediately. Today is a lucky day, nothing, no issues with, uh, with the stream, but yesterday and two days uh, ago I had, uh, I had some problems with the OBS. Amat, 67 minutes, 68 almost. We're still in it, we're still fighting. Corner kick, come on, corner kick, Marin. And goal, Cosma, Cosma with a with an equalizer. Unbelievable scenes here in Bulgaria. Jules Petroshan equalizes. And now we're going for the win. Why not? It's 2-2. I changed uh, the mentality to attacking. And uh, unbelievable. We tied the game. Come on, guys. Come on. We can do this. If we win this game, we can hope for... Um, for the semifinals. But Moreno now takes a shot, blocked, Morshel crosses it and Ramos 75th minute we did all our changes we're still attacking Beruato I don't want to change anything, I don't want to make anything that would um, upset my players uh, good shot, good shot We can keep the good time rolling with this attacking mentality. They are struggling, the Bulgarians are struggling uh, to handle us when we are putting pressure. Kozma, the goal scorer. Baltario, Fekete passing to Marin. Dunka to Duma. Duma scored also. Ma Manta took a shot there, but too far away. Too far away. Boltario 6.5 we have nobody to to sub him with so imagine second leg N00 and it goes to pens yeah <laughs> <laughs> yep it's a possibility man but um, let's not think about that, that right now I hate penalties like I always lose on penalties on manager so Beruato, come on. Survive, guys. Hold. Hold the lines. Yon. Passing. Oh, and it's a red card. Yes. Red card. And good day to you. Six. 
seven more minutes. Now we're keep, we're gonna keep attacking. Hopefully we're gonna score the winner. Yes, red card and 90, 90th minute. Baltario in the box and penalty, penalty. What a turn of events, guys. <laughs> and uh, hold on a second before he's gonna shoot the penalty. We have to, we have to make sure we have the right right guy kicking it. Um, <laughs> Yep, Mandela Duma is our best taker, so good. Come on. Make history here, Duma. Penalty. Penalty kick in the 91st minute in Sofia. Duma with the winner. 3 2, guys. Unbelievable. We're going for the semi final. If, if um, we can at least tie the game um, in Petroshan in Romania, we will go for the semi-final very nice kick yes 3-2 from 2-0 down unbelievable Skip you uh, you experience history here history in the making and we're going for the fourth uh, let's not be greedy almost uh, almost over when I started oh and Dunka 4-2, yes! Unbelievable! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Crazy game. This is insane. 4-2 from being down 2 nothing. Fekete finds Dunka, who is cold-blooded and scores the fourth goal of the game and this should seal the deal what a night in Bulgaria exactly skip crazy night in Bulgaria I'm sorry for the CSK fans but oh wow we we deserve this win crazy crazy night so happy with this uh, this is huge for the club huge win I never even imagined that we're gonna even reach the the knockout playoff in the in a conference league, let alone almost getting into the semifinal. Final time four to unbelievable. Um, <laughs> in praise, of course. What a win! The Dollars ate their words. We're going home with an advantage of two goals. And uh, if we are going to line up the best team in that game, we will face history. We will experience history playing in the semifinal of the third competition in Europe. Jesus. Four to five weeks. Gitan, key player for the club, of course. <sighs> Man. Greco inspires Mineri. Mineri is the nickname of the club, the Miners. Same like Shakhtar Donetsk in Ukraine. We are we're not rich, but we are the Miners Club. Mandla Duma, one of the best forwards. Man. Big blow that Gitan got injured and he will miss that um, second leg and probably the semi-final too. And uh, we are playing a huge game now in the league against Craiova. Our first, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, the fourth game of the championship uh, playoff. We're still first in the league. The, the run is really close right now. The chase is getting tight. One point ahead of CFR Cluj. 
two points difference uh, against FCSB. But what a game. What a comeback. As soon as I started attacking, as soon as I criticized the player, players uh, after the halftime, they just stepped up and just destroyed uh, Ceseca Sofia at their own, um, in front of their own fans. Man, and we have so many tired players right now. Nadelku. But yeah, Dunka actually, Dunka scored the fourth goal and he is a quality player, loaned out from Ghent, from Belgium. We loaned him out for five months in a winter transfer window. Oh, 4 2 2 2 is the same, you're, is kind of the same like my tactic. Uh, let me see here. I'll show you. Is it this one? Kind of the same uh, lineup. Five two win versus etc. Nice. Yeah, I um, I score a lot of goals, but I concede a lot of goals too. My uh, my defense is eating a lot of goals my they they let um a lot of goals in although i have a good goalie okay so you you're not playing you're not playing with inverted wingers you're playing with with uh just regular wingers. Man, what a stream we have today. This is the best stream since I started. Three followers, three new followers today. Thank you guys. Thank you very much for joining my stream and the channel. I hope you enjoy your Christmas with your families and also you enjoy the stream. Yeah, crazy score. Yes, I agree, Balfon. That was a crazy, crazy game. Trojanski close to triggering clause, so we're gonna get 130,000 if he's gonna play five more games for Radomiak Radom. Trojanski was our striker last season, our main striker last season, and he scored a record breaker of 26 goals, 26 goals in 38 games. Overall 27 in and uh, 34 uh, overall for the club 34 27 that makes no sense but whatever but yeah 26 goals this guy was really good and we sold him for 1 million uh, to Radomia Krado in Poland I will have to rest some players uh, for the returning game against Seseka Sofia now it's getting serious I didn't Actually, I didn't care too much about Conference League. Uh, I was uh, more 
um, invested in the in the league. I wanted to to give more attention to the league and win the league this season. But right now, um, we need we need to 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 pay attention because maybe we can also uh, have a lucky draw in the semifinal and go for the final. I mean. Right now, anything can happen. We beat Basel 5-2 at home. So Basel is kind of the same level with Twente. Or let's, just not, let's not say Aston Villa. Aston Villa probably is going to win the whole thing. But we can beat Twente. If we play Twente in the, in the semifinal, if we qualify, we have a very good chance to go in the fi for the final. This will be unbelievable. Yeah, I agree, Skip. Yes. So, yeah, right now uh, I have to pay more attention to the Conference League. Um, and um, probably we're going to lose the league. Because I'm going to play the backups in the league right now. And have to rest. I have to rest all the starters for their uh, returning leg against the, the Bulgarian team. And man... If I knew, if I only knew <laughs> that this is going to happen, um, I probably would have uh, uh, transferred at least two more players in the winter transfer window. But I was like, ah, let me not uh, disrupt the team morale. Because when you bring more players, uh, you, you're risking making other players unhappy because you're bringing to play uh, them on their position. Man, this is getting interesting. Uh, I was planning to stream just for uh, three hours today, but right now we have to see what's gonna happen in the Europa League. I mean, in the, uh, sorry, in the Conference League. I need to play that game, and maybe we're gonna play the Fetchesebe game also. We'll see. It's 11 in the morning here in. Uh, in Chicago area in United States very cold day very cold Christmas day two degrees just two degrees freezing cold but we are having fun here with Jiul Petroșani the Juventus of Romania Not even close. All right. So we will bench everyone who played against uh, Ceseca Sofia. Mamila will start. Duma will start also. Nedelku will start Zalazar Cosma the goal scorer Edward Maxim will be on the bench Valencia will start and we will bench Marin McGregor um, McGregor we, uh, we will bench him also Besuijen also on the bench Edward Luca we can play Luca and uh, Cosma. Yeah. Kovac. Raul Leon will uh, start with Mamila. Uh, Dulka. Dulka, Dulka will play actually. Yep, Dulka will play. Fekete on the bench, Tursha. Uh, hmm. Can Dulka play box to box? Hmm. Not that good. He's really short.
It's okay. We'll uh, we'll play Tursha as a box to box. He's tired, but he he can uh, he can survive. And then McGregor will uh, replace him when we're gonna play against uh, Seseka. If we beat Krajowa with our backups, it's a very good sign. Krajowa is on a downhill right now. They're, they lost a few games at home and away. They are fifth. They still have a, a slight, slight tiny chance to, to come back and win the league. But right now we are forced to win this game just to, um, to stay first. If not, uh, we're going to... We're gonna have to chase uh, Chefere Cluj for the league title. Game time. The only tire player is Tursha. It's okay. Um, before we start the game, we have to go into the um, the training section here. Praise everyone again for their uh, form, for the way they trained, keeping the the morale high. We are getting closer to three hours of streaming today without any issues. I am really happy that uh, the OBS is not hating on me today. Probably because it's Christmas. Now let's see if I if we need to put some like uh, some uh, players on the additional training. Manta, final third. Dunka, no. Besuijen, no. Nedelku, final third. Tirnovano, McGregor, endurance. Yeah, that's good. Mamila, no. Raulion, Boltario, Strength. Duma, Molnar, Crossing. Yonuts Marin, Valencia, Ball Control. Nguni, Tursha, Zivkovic, Dulka, Dobre, Fekete, Madeline Kozma, Kurjan, Endurance, Zalazar, Edward Luka, Passing, 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 Maxim, Endurance, Man! A lot of players need additional training and Gitan is injured so um, Zalazar will start this game hopefully he will play better um, yeah this is the starting lineup 
although Luca is a central defender with a strong left foot uh, I'm gonna have to play him on the right because Kozma also has a left foot a stronger left foot let me see here Luca reasonable right foot and Kozma reasonable right foot both of them can play on the right but that's fine all right let's not waste more time let's start the game we're playing Craiova at Petra Libardi Stadium in Petroshani at home Mineri, this is the nickname of our, our club, Mineri, the Miners. Uh, we're trying to stay in the hunt for winning the league for the second time in our history. Yon passing to Dulka here in the beginning of the first half. Duma on the left. Long cross there to Mamila. Mamila can reach it. Sibila is our former central defender. He is starting for Craiova this game. And Mamila with a weak shot uh, from way too far. We need to pay attention. Really close attention. Ivan escapes on the left wing there. He's going to probably try to cross, don't follow him, and Kolic very close to scoring the first goal of the game, 6-5 Kozma. We took a chance on this game, we gambled, we are playing with uh, um, the, the subs, Mandla Duma 6.5, 6.4 now. Yon, Sibyl has a yellow uh, card already. Hopefully he's gonna get a, another yellow. All right, this is not working. We need to demand more from the players. Kapatsuna, Krajova is controlling the game. Kolic again escapes on the on the right side. One on one with the goalie and one nothing Krajova. Before the halftime. It was a was a nice goal. No chance for the goalie. It was way too close. Yeah, this is. Uh, I have to. I have to criticize them. I'm disappointed. Let's uh, let's see who. Okay, Tursha out Fekete in and we'll play Dulka as a box to box we'll take a chance 6-4 Madeline Cosma okay Baltario will will uh will sub him Duma Besuijan in and the strikers uh I'm gonna let them uh, 10 more minutes and then I will sub if they don't improve their rating. Uh, we need a comeback again. We need another comeback like in Sofia. But Valencia 6665. We will change Valencia to Marin. Yep, Marin tired marine but we have to we have to push for at least one point in this game mm. 
We were playing at home. Zalazar passing to Besoy Jendulka. Uh, interesting pass to Mamila, but too long. Krajowa is on a losing streak and today they decided that uh, they will end that losing streak with us taking their revenge because I think last game we won against them but Besuijen on the left Mamila our wonder kid striker who we couldn't register for the conference league tried to cross here and a corner kick 51st minute Mamila 6.4 and Yon 6.5. One less highlight and I have to make subs. One sub for the strikers. Besui Jen cuts inside in the box. Passes uh, to Fekete, Fekete to Nedelku, Nedelku and gets uh, blocked there. And now we will sub one striker we have to pick. Okay, so Mamila. We'll put Kovac and Mamila is gonna come out. Besuijen with the corner. Come on guys, come on. Boltariu, Besuijen again trying to cross. Besuijen trying to shoot now. Bad, bad shot. Way over the top. Raul Yon 6-5. Come on, come on, push, push, push. Demand more, come on. Dulka crossing that. Fekete! Weak, weak uh, header. We don't deserve to win this game uh, based on the stats. Krajova dominated the game. 15 minutes left. I think we're gonna lose this one, guys. Uh, we're gonna let CFR take the lead in the title race. Four more minutes. Maybe somebody can, can be the hero. Nedelku! And yes! But he's, a pe uh, he's a, an offside. Oh my god! Why? Why? At least don't show it. Jesus Christ. It is an offside. Man. Zalazar throwing and then with the cross he was he was. He was offside. It's over. We lost. We lost at home. We gave away these three points because of the conference league. It's the price you pay. It's the price you pay for this kind of um, scenarios, you know, in your save. Sometimes you have to make these tough decisions and they're going to hurt. And this game will hurt us in the link standings. We have uh, five more games, I think, or four, uh, no, six more games in the, in the league six games left with CFR winning so far um, the league by two points but we are uh, hoping that we can uh, play them again uh, in a direct game and win that game but yeah game over man weren't good enough we must improve Send the assistant. I'm too upset to talk to the media right now. Yep, we are two points down. Krajova come uh, make is making a comeback right now. Fechesebe lost. I don't want to talk to to the media after this game.
three days and we are playing at home against Jessica. Historic game. I hope, I just hope it's not going to be that type of game where we won away and now they're going to destroy us at home. Or we're not going to have like an unlucky red card. Unhappy with Ngoni. Well, uh, that's my fault. I think we can keep this guy. We, ju we just have to give him some playing time. He's decent. He's improving. 18 years old striker slash winger. We couldn't find um, any. Uh, we couldn't give him any playing time so far. I mean, we tried, but I think he scored one goal or no? Nope. It, just four appearances and 650. Probably that's why, because he, he was not performing well. Man. Yeah, we have to we have to uh, find a way to win the league because if we're not winning the league this season, um, pretty much we're gonna fail the chance to have the chance to uh, to get to the Champions League. If we manage to bring some quality players, we can qualify to Champions League next season, and that's close to forty million dollars. 38 million euros if you qualify in the group stage of Champions League. Imagine having 38 plus 8, 46 million. Hmm. We will bring uh, Warner Kids, we will revamp the whole club. So this is a tough decision though. Like we really need to find a way to to win the league. So um I'm gonna play the games, the game against uh, Jessica and the game against Fechesebe in the league, and uh, that would be the end of the stream, guys. We're gonna probably go for over three hours stream today. I have some stuff to do later on. I uh, I would stream for even five hours if I could, because I don't care. Just that I have to get some uh, some stuff for uh, for for the family I have some people visiting today so so I will take nothing again and we will come back tomorrow I'm uh, probably gonna play uh, on my own uh, a little later today. And tomorrow we will probably um, um, start the, the 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 transfer window, the summer transfer window. It will be exciting to see who we can bring in.
Game time. Almost there. Doing the lineup, I'm gonna put the starters. Units Marine, uh, tiredness everywhere. Best region, Dunka, Kovac. Manta Dobre We have only eight subs For uh, the conference league Boltario Molnar Voltario is tired, Yonuts Marin is tired uh, We're gonna play Cosma the first half and see how it goes and then if he will play bad we will put Voltario in at the second half Manta will start this game Let's see Raul Leon, 895 training rating, Peter Kovac, 890, okay. So this is the starting lineup, Marin, actually let's uh, let's give Valencia the start, because Marin is really tired and this guy is training well, he is improving, and it's a good balance between uh, the first team and the second team. Kovac, Duman, Edel, Kufekete, all right. We are ready to battle. We need to uh, we need to make sure we're not um, making any mistakes early in the game here at Jules Petrosian Stadium Petre Libardi Conference League quarterfinal second leg historic historic tie against the Bulgarian uh, Giants We are ready. We rewarded Valencia for his very good uh, dedication and training rating. We rewarded him with the start in this historic game. The Bulgarians, as we expected, they uh, they are starting to put pressure. Innocent, a nice pass in the box there, and Tirnovano saves it. First chance, uh, dangerous chance for uh, for Ceseka. 
Chopov, free kick from the right. Zivkovic saves it. Besujen now can uh, can go for uh, for a chance or a dangerous chance here. We can build something. Solo run on the left. Besujen solo run. Ten minutes in. He's crossing it. Yon and one nothing. <laughs> this is insane. We are very close to play the semi-final of Conference League. Jesus. Yon opens the score with a with a crazy crazy uh, header from uh, Besujan's cross. One nothing. Beautiful shot there. And the Bulgarians are getting punished very early in the game. Valencia Yon. McGregor, Dunka, Dunka still fights for the ball, we're still in control, confusing, very confusing and it's over, 2-0, Ion is having a dream of a game today, I was debating if I would start Ion or, um, or Dunka on that position, but yep, Ion is delivering the goods, 2-0 and it's over right now. Mistake there by the central defenders, uh, by uh, the Bulgarian central defenders, and beautiful curved shot by Yon. It's over 6 2 aggregate, and uh, Jiul is going for the semi finals, guys. Unbelievable. Semi final of Conference League in our fifth season in this save. Chris Ramos on the left. Passes it to Tufedzic, but we are blocking this. Good defending by our uh, our guys. Shopov with the corner, 15 minutes in. And Ternovano, save hands. Another free kick, Shopov. Beautiful shot, but Ternovano saves it. We are in control though, it feels like we are controlling the game, we have two goals, we scored two goals already. Um, we could go for another one. Zivkovic, Tursha, Kozma. Molnar passing to Besujen, Besujen and Manta almost scored the third. Dunka, we're still not over. No, I think. Yeah, we lost it. Nope, we got it back. And Dunka is going to cross. Nothing happened there. Zikovic is having a great game. 7.3. Also, Ion with double. With a double. Two goals. And uh, we're getting closer to the halftime. Zivkovic passing to Tursha Valencia Ternovano to Molnar Ternovano Zivkovic Valencia Dunka Don't make a penalty. Good job. Still, the Bulgarians are not um, giving up here. They're putting pressure now in the end of the first half. And another great save by Ternovanu. With a shaky uh, defense. We have a shaky defense. In the end of the first half. Probably they're tired already. Demanding games in the end of this crazy season. Madeline Kozma is struggling and Baltario will uh, will sub him at the halftime. Great first half. I think it's over for uh, Tseseka. They need to they need to score right now at least four goals just to stay in the fight, which is unlikely. We 
we're starting the second half right now. <clears throat> We need to uh, think about the semis right now. We need to also uh, think about the league. We are having a tough, tough game coming up right now against Fetches Hebe, who are right behind us in a title run. To Fetzic, and again, Tirnovano, safe hands there. Having a decent game. Jose Valencia 6.4. We will sub him next uh, next highlight. Just uh, waiting here. Tursha in the box. Bad shot over the top. Let's go and actually double check if maybe we can sub somebody else too. Sorin Manta is having a bad game. And we're gonna put Marin in and Valencia out we still have two more subs to make we're gonna keep him in the pocket Idiot minute Dunka 6.6 .6, so we're gonna bench him he's not doing bad but let's give Nadelko some game some game time and uh, one more change maybe Molnar to Zala and Zalazar in and that's it we want guys we are gonna go into the semi-finals of conference league <laughs> unbelievable Beautiful win. Semi-final. Historic semi-final again. I mean against uh, whoever. I don't care. Probably it's going to be Twente or Aston Villa. One of those two. We're going to find out really, really soon. Uh, we made it easy for ourselves with uh, two early goals. And um, we're going to get some money right now. Probably uh, one million for qualifying in the, in the semi-finals. Wow. 6-2 aggregate. Crazy, crazy win. But I'm disappointed by the league uh, performance. It's a brilliant feeling. Great player. 991,000 we received for uh, qualifying into the semifinals. We'll play 20. 20, guys. This is game over for us. I can't. Um, I can't uh, think that we're going to be able to, to beat 20, but, you know... We're gonna give our best shot, and in the other tie, Slovan Bratislava in the other semifinal will uh, face Aston Villa, the favorites to win this competition. It will be, it will be crazy. Let's uh, let's praise here uh, Ion for his two goals against uh, the Bulgarians. Praise player, praise last game. You were superb. Wow, what a run! So yeah, one more, uh, one more game um, 
for today and we're gonna uh, end it coming back tomorrow probably same time around 8 or 8 30 in the morning Chicago time have some uh, issues with the uh, with the uh, OBS I, b I think anyways let's move forward One more game, Fetch a Sebe away. Three hours, over three hours stream today. Over three hours. Yeah, the OBS is um, is doing some uh, some funny shit. Sorry for the language, but uh, I guess um, I have to. I don't know. I guess I have to download it again, or I don't know what's what's going on. But every day I'm I'm having these issues, like it keeps um, restarting or giving some errors Maxine Lone finishes probably uh, they are disappointed that I'm not playing him we're good we have cover and now um, let's check the schedule here we will play Fechesebe and then in five, in five days after the Fechesebe uh, game we'll play Krajowa so we'll play uh, we'll play the best uh, the best team. We'll play the starters for the Stiawa game also. We need to we need to we need to win this game. We are on a verge to like really losing the league very early, like with five games before the ending of the season. So we can't afford to do that. We have to give it one hundred percent in the league too. Keeping in mind that Twente is gonna be uh, probably is gonna be the end of the road for us in Europe. We're playing the first tie, the first leg. Uh, we're playing away in in uh, Holland. But we have to be proud of what we achieved this season. Even if we lose the title, we reach the semi-finals of the Conference League. Unbelievable. And uh, for sure next season, even uh, even if we're going to play only in Europa League, we really have to be uh, thankful. And we will probably will get some money there too, if we're going to reach uh, Europa League. But let's not uh, lose hope. We're gonna play uh, the Fechesebe game with a good morale, but tired, tired players. Almost game time. I am not gonna praise anyone because it's. Uh, I just did it a few days before. Uh, Marin in. Uh, Salazar in. 
Manta Ion will be on the bench. Dulka ineligible. Munguni on the bench. Luka. Mamila. Mamila will play actually. Um, Edward Luka will take the place of um, Cosma, Baltario, and Luka for this one. Baltari is actually really tired. Uh, he can he can start whatever. We have to take a chance here. McGregor and Tursha in the middle. Vicente Besuijen and uh, on the right. We're gonna play Nedelko this time. Gitan is injured. Manta and Mamila starting. Let's uh let's go for it. Last game of the stream. Hopefully, hopefully three points. But it's away at Fechesebe. Fechesebe are hungry and ready to smash. So smash us. No comment. Play to the player. Oh man. Let's go. Fechesebe are, fa are the favorites to win this one. Sunny day at uh, Nacional Arena, their home stadium. Zalazar passing to Baltariu. Butelezi, their, uh, their goalie, is going to kick it long. Luca Manta. He's fighting for it. So Stiawa is starting, is starting to put pressure very, very early into the game. Bobok, Musi, Marin is trying to defend their Dobre, Dobre, Olaru. We beat them last time, three nothing. We won uh, easily last time away in the regular season. But now this is a different story with uh, Niculescu scoring the first one. Yeah, we, we're gonna lose the league. Let's start attacking right away. Let's not waste no time. This is not this is not good. Luca. One nothing for Fechesebe. Baltariu makes a mistake. Dobre wins it there. And Turnovano saves his ass. Baltario is tired. <clears throat> Baluza corner. Nedelku, come on, fight. Nedelku wins it. And everybody's playing bad. They're having 6-5, six, 6-5. Five, six, five. Tiredness, that's the... That's the word. That's the reason. Dobre is gonna try to cross. Cuts inside and in the last second, in the last second, uh, I think uh, Luca saves it. Baluza with the corner. Come on, Besujen, Marin. Offside. No? Alright. 16 minutes in. And uh, Fecha Sebe is dominating the game as they should. Uh, if we lose here, we're going uh, pretty much five points uh, behind CFR, and it would be too hard and too difficult for us to, to come back. Marin. 
McGregor, Marin, Baltario, McGregor again, don't lose it. Long pass to Besuijen, but uh, Ratio is there. Come on, Pashkano, good team they have. I, I know all the all their players. They uh, they have a good lineup. Although they are they were knocked out from the Conference League by Ike Solna in the knockout playoff, but now a solo run by Musi on the left wing, pass it back to Ejuma Baluza. Gonna try to pass it to Dobre and uh, saved by our defense and the goalie 6.4 Manta is Mamila 6.5 the backups are not doing well they're not helping the the team 30 minutes in and we have we have tired players poor performances uh, we have to we have to um, do something we have to somehow make a miracle here to get something out of this game come on Salazar come on Ejuma very 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 uh, good shot but a little over the top yeah, we have to change the strikers unless they're gonna score before the halftime. Luca passing to McGregor, McGregor to Baltario. Ratio again wins it. Come on, just give me one goal. One goal, Baltario, Galazar, McGregor, Luca. Zalazar, McGregor. McGregor. Come on, solo run. Nope, he loses the ball. And it's Stella's ball right now. Is it going to be probably Stella's chance? Yes. Again, Stella dominating. Nope, it's us. And it's Manta. Manta passing to Mamila. Mamila. And over the first chance. Shot over the over the, the goal. Three players are 6.4. Besuijen, Manta, and Mamila. We can let Stiawa score again before halftime. Dobre on the right wing. Bad angle. Bad angle. Baluza. Baluza. Baluza almost scored. And for. We need to come back from this. We need to make some changes right away. Oh God, I, I fucked it up. Sorry for the language. I said it's a very good, very good half. Oh my God. There you go. Oh man. Okay, so Kovac will change. Uh, Change for Manta. Raulion for Mamila. Baltario Zivkovic. Vicente Vesujen Duma. And we'll leave one in the pocket. But yeah, this game is over. When you mess up, the, the team talk is over. Usually they will never react uh, positive. Come on. Zalazar. I didn't pay attention and I just messed it up. I pressed the wrong thing. And now we're going to lose here three points and probably CFR is going to win their game. And we're gonna be uh, we're gonna end up third in the league right now because of this result. Mm. 
Davi Zalazar finally has a good game. Marin pass to Turnovano. Turnovano gives it away to Edjuma. Edjuma to Musi and Musi. Oh man. They almost scored. They're putting pressure non-stop. 6-3 Luca. Yep, we have to change him. Madeline Cosma. Sixty-third minute. They're still controlling the game. Yeah, let's go back to positive mentality. This is not working. Attacking is not working. They are pressuring us. They're doing all the work, and we're just defending. corner Duma 6.5 we just put him in last 10 minutes come on guys just try to to get a point here Yon Yon cuts inside passing to Kozma Kozma to Zivkovic Zivkovic to Marin don't lose it Tursha passing to Yon and we're losing the ball again Kozma McGregor Duma Duma passing to Yon Yon and 1-1 one, one. please don't be outside Thank you, thank you, 1-1, one, one. finally, finally a goal after struggling for the whole game with a beautiful, beautiful finish on here, he is delivering, I benched him for a few games but now he is delivering, it's 1-1 one, one, and we're hoping right now for to stay in that fight for the title, come on, just don't allow any more goals before the end of the game, McGregor. Zivkovic passing to Tursha, Tursha to McGregor, McGregor passing on the side, on the wing to Duma, Duma losing the ball there. Okay, so we're winning the ball back, yes, we win the ball back, Tursha, they're struggling with this uh, positive mentality, we stopped attacking and they're struggling right now, beautiful Pass to Duma in the box. Duma and goal. Oh my God. After I messed up the team talk, the pep talk at the halftime, they managed to score two goals and we're getting the three points almost very close to get the three, point, the three points at Fece Sebe in a unbelievable, unbelievable two goals in the last, last 10 minutes here. Mistake by the goalie. And we are very close, guys, very close to get the three points here and stay in the title run. We changed the tactic from attacking to positive mentality. And Yon here is almost scoring our third goal. Kozma, Duma, Duma, curve shot, almost in the top corner. Very, very good uh, end of the, the game here. If we, can, if we can put the pressure one more minute, we will win this. Nadelko on the right wing is trying to get something from this chance. Pass it. He's passing it in the center, but uh, the Stiawa defenders are managing to um, shoot the ball away. Zivkovic, long ball back to uh, Jon, but he was offside anyways. 
an unbelievable uh, unbelievable end of the game here at Nacional Arena with Jiul Petroșani. Juventus of Romania is probably going to get the three points and stay in the title run. And yes, it is over, guys. It is over. We won the three points undeservedly here at FCSB. <laughs> I'm really sorry for, uh, for, uh, for this team because they deserve the win. They deserve the win, but we stole it. We stole it and we're still in it to win it. Wow. After I messed up the, te the, the team talk, the pep talk at the halftime. Everybody was red. In incredible, unbelievable response by the players. Very tired players, very upset players at the halftime. They still found a way to get the three points, not only a tie, but the three points. Very proud of this team. Um, and we are holding on. We are two points behind CFR Cluj. I want to make sure we're going to play them again. Because if we play them again, and if we play them, I think we're going to play them at home. If we win that game, that will win the title for us. Let me make sure here. We will play them again. And yes, we will play them again at home. On the 9th of May 2027, right after the returning uh, leg against uh, Fece Twente. So we're going to have three days um, to, to prepare the game against CFR. We won against uh, Fece Sebe in the last game of this stream. Uh, our next game is going to be in five days. Uh, traveling at Craiova, at Universitatea Craiova. Historic, historic run in the Conference League. Uh, the stream recap is um, here. So we um, we played uh, CFR 2-2, Rapid 0-0. We won 4-2 away at Ceseca Sofia. We uh, lost at home against Craiova. We beat at home Ceseca Sofia, a returning leg in Conference League. And uh, we won 2 1, unexpected win just, uh, just now against Fecha Sebe. And we are currently second in the league. Five games left. Five games left, guys. With, uh, with a real, real chance to win the league for the second time in our history. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you so much for subscribing, for following and um, uh, chatting with me today. Merry Christmas to everyone. Again, uh, thank you, Skip, for uh, for following. Thank you, uh, Shadow. Thank you, Bolfan. Uh, we had a, we had a fun uh, fun stream today. Uh, proud uh, proud day. Uh, for uh, Jules Petroshani fans, um, we uh, we will be back tomorrow morning, probably the same time, around 8.30 or even earlier, Chicago area. Um, and we will continue uh, probably with uh, end, the, the end of the season and the summer transfer window. Hopefully we're going to have a 3-4 hour uh, stream tomorrow also. Okay, guys, uh, Merry Christmas again, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.